Okay, we're going to try to get a Firebase authentication project going here. We're going to do the entire thing de novo from from scratch. And so let's let's see how that <laughs> let's see how that goes. Um, okay, so we're going to start a new project. I always like a basic activity more than an empty activity. We're going to call this FC. Firebase auth. So there's Firebase and Firestore. Firestore is the new one. Firebase is the old one. But a lot of the basic functionality like authentication is under Firebase. Okay. And EDU. Yeah, we like that. And this is where it lives in my little world. So we grab that. Let's see, is it? Showing here, yeah, you got a big phone in front of all this. Seems like we don't need that right now. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, I always kill this thing. This, this uh, floating action button is just stupid. Um, okay, so uh, very basic activity. Great. Uh, couldn't be happier. And... Now we're going to take a look at uh, what's going on in our web browser. Here we're going to add Firebase to our Android project. And this is um, just a little, a fair amount of stuff here. So you can, you know, watch this video. Um, and, but I'm going to walk you through it. All right, so first we're going to go to the Firebase console. Oh gosh, I thought I was going to open up a new window. All right, let's uh, duplicate Firebase console. Fine, back here. Go back to these instructions. Okay, Firebase console. Uh, what does it say to do? Is there anything interesting? Yeah, okay, so it says create stuff. So um, I have some stuff here. Uh, obviously, you won't have anything. Um, you're, sorry, you're going to have to log in. This is, so this is oh boy. This is, um, all right, well, we're going to the console. It's console.firebase.google.com. Um, and then it, it puts this stuff in. And, uh, if you have a Google account, uh, just log in with your Google account. So it, it doesn't matter. We're not going to do anything that costs any money or requires you to be a corporation or anything. So let's, uh, start with the name for your project. So we are going to name this FC Firebase, Firebase, yeah, not Firestore, auth, okay? And it creates this little string, say continue. Uh, do you want Google Analytics? Yeah, you know, it gives you stuff. Basically, it's like a uh, default account, it's fine. So it's creating your project. You have to sort of give Google an outrageous amount of control and trust, but you know, they're providing a lot of the uh, framework for this. So while uh, Google is thinking, um, well, uh, now let's just let Google think. The way this is going to go, uh, I don't want to get, get ahead of myself. Let's just go back here. The two things we're looking for is the application ID, which is that which is that uh, edu dot, you know, 371 and whatever. That's, that's something that we choose, but it, it is, um, it is the ID. And then we're going to do this thing called this, this SHA-1 information. SHA-1 is a cryptographic hash. You can look up what that means. It basically is a way of mapping a lot of different files onto a fixed length string, uh, such that it's unlikely that any two of them collide the SHA-1. If the SHA-1 values are identical, it's very likely that the original files were identical. Of course, it's not possible because there's a fixed number of SHA-1 hashes, but it's very likely. SHA-256 is the new one, but they use SHA-1. Anyway, okay, so we say continue. FC Firebase Auth, this is the thing that we started on. Spark plan means I'm not paying for anything, so that's sort of nice. So this is my um, project. I want to get started. I'm, I'm an Android and now register app. So register package name. And now if we go, 
uh, I mean, uh, I've told you a million times what the package name is, but just um, just to drive the point home, if we go in our manifest file, uh, package, package name. Okay, so edu, da, 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 that's our package name, copy. Uh, I don't like I mean, always go to OBS and tell me what's on top. Oh, uh, uh, let's get that. Uh, okay, that's my package name. Okay, and now this thing, debug signing certificate. So um, it's it's only required for some things, but let's let's go ahead and show you how to get that. Uh, uh, what do I need? Uh, edit, edit, edit configurations. No, 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 I don't want that. Uh, yeah, Gradle tasks Android signing report. Okay, so I went into Gradle on the side. I went in, this is my project. I went into tasks on my project, Android signing report. I double clicked it, which runs it. You can run it again up here and you get this signing report. Signing report. We have a debug key, which this is sort of how you are signing your apps to prove that they come from you. If you actually put them up in the app store, you get uh, your own key and you have to be careful about it. But this is using a debug key. Everyone gets a debug key. It's chill. Don't worry about it. And we get this SHA-1 uh, result. And this is a SHA-256. Uh, it's longer and more secure. Um, um, and this is how we are going to sign our app. So this identifies us more than this string, which everyone in the class is going to have the same string. So uh, that's why I think it's useful to have the SHA-1. Here we register the app. The Mr. Google thinks, and now we get this key thing where it says download google-services.json. So of course it's a JSON file, like uh, many good things in life and we download it. Okay, it downloads into our uh, local file system. And now something that's not gonna show up too well in the, in this, but let's see what, um, yeah, if I have this, oh gosh, it's gonna show up at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going now into the file system. I'm going to, you can hear me typing, so it must be true. Um, so, uh, let's see. Fi oh my gosh, did I put this in the wrong place? Let's see. Fire. Where, where the heck? Where the heck is this? put it in the wrong spot. Okay, well, that's annoying. So, okay. So, in if you go into uh, your um, directory structure of your project, you'll see an app directory. And if you move the Google services.json into the app directory, Let's see, does that show up here anywhere? Maybe, this is, oh yeah, so if I, if you, let's see. App, yeah, Google services.json. Okay, yeah, there it is. And see, you can see the package name. It's got our package name. Um, it's got a, a bunch of stuff that sort of uh, identifies us to, to Google. Let's get rid of that. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't show you this. It's, you can then impersonate me and <laughs> st steal all my very valuable secrets that I have here. All right, so do do do. Let's go to let's go back to the video tape. Let's go back here. Um, so, okay, so we, we downloaded this. Oh yeah, and it, it, it says, see, look under the project uh, view. I just did this and you see Google services.json, perfect. 
All right, now we need to add some things to Gradle. And this is, it gives you this, this is was done long ago. So you don't have to worry about this repositories thing, but you do have to worry about this. So we have to add this line and it's to the project build.gradle, which is not something, well, you guys haven't dealt with this, with um, Gradle very much at all. I've sort of shielded you from a lot of that. Um, but there are two different uh, Gradles. Okay, let's go. I don't want the project files view anymore. I want the Android view. Gradle scripts. So there's the module uh, build Gradle file, which is the thing we have dealt with, where we, we do things like get rid of the exact uh, tools. And then this is the project build Gradle. And this is the one that is asking us to put in this dependency, this class path here. So Gradle scripts, the first one, project, this Google services, sync it. Let's, uh, let's look at build. Okay, seems to be happy. Uh, very excited about that. Let's go back to our web page. See what else is telling us to do. Um, then it's this. It's telling us to put in our uh, application level build up Gradle, which is the thing that we. Um, spend most of our time in if you you're going to be spending your time in that for your project so you have this dependencies and then this uh, implementation for firebase analytics and we're clicking the the copy button so we copied it we're also going to, have to put this google services thing down here so let's let's do this one at a time so we'll go back hey okay back here this is the project. Now we go to the module, go down here where we already have all these implementation stuff. Uh, let's put this one in, sync it. Um, yeah, we can put uh, Firebase stuff. Okay, yeah, you can sync my. Um, okay, so that and that that actually ran and built okay. What else does this tell us to do? Um, What else does it tell us to do? It tells us to put this apply plugin at the bottom of the file. This apply plugin com Android application, we've already got that in there. That's something that is already there. So let's take a look here. Com Android application, right? That, that That's already there. It's telling us to put this thing, the Google services at the bottom and we will sync that. Okay, very good. So it was happy. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, sync now. Next. Checking if the app is communicated with the uh, services. Uh, services. Uh, I don't know whether it has or not. It probably has not. Uh, let's go back here. Build and run this. Just for the heck of it. Oh, signing. We're still on signing report. Go back to app up here. Hit run. Uh, we're not actually doing anything yet, so I don't know if running this um, actually communicates. We're building. We're building. And we are running. And yeah, the, let's see if we look at the phone, phone comes up here. Hello world. Cause we, we haven't done anything, um, here going back to the, um, webpage view, it's still sort of thinking, um, let's, we're going to skip this step for now because I don't, oh, look at that. Wow, real-time awesomeness. So just running this nothing application, actually, I guess that did enough communication. Uh, you successfully added Firebase to your app, continue to the console, boom. Uh, that is bad. Oh, continue SDK setup. Oh, no, I already did that. Maybe it's just, it's just worried about, um, just, it's just worried about me. 
Have you called your mother? Okay, so um, uh, let's get let's move this phone out of the way. Okay, and now um, we've gone. So um, I've chosen this particular project. So if, you know, back, if we go back to the console view, you know you have all these different projects. I mean, I have all these different projects. Uh, you probably only have one. Uh, we just set up FC Firebase Auth. Okay, we're in here. This sort of um, advertising heavy section and we go up here to develop we're interested in authentication as we're doing in the slope classroom and now uh, you can see sort of um, how we're, we're going to deal with our users and what sign up sign in methods we want we're going to do email and password we're going to enable this switch uh, I used to sign up Right, email. Yeah, sure. Great. Email link, passwordless sign in. Uh, no, we won't do that. Okay. Okay. And so what's going on here is we're now living in two worlds. We have our mobile app and we develop our mobile app with Android Studio. But now our Android Studio is communicating with these services from Google that we administer using this console. And this console is a web page, but it's actually communicating with these servers, and then our app is gonna communicate with these servers. And so what we're telling the server is like, hey, we want authentication for our users. Authentication tells you who I am. That's the, the you know, that's the, the purpose of what authentication does. And who I am can be my email and password, it can be my phone number, it can be my Google account, it, you know, anyway, you you get the point here, right? So uh, for the for this lab, we're just going to do email and password. You know, you can allow anonymous login, and you know, you get an anonymous user that has that is still identifiable, and then they they can uh, when they um, sign up for your service and give you an email and password, you have you still have some of their history tied to their anonymous usage. That's sort of interesting. You know, if you got whatever, if you're into Twitter, then use Twitter. You know. You get the point here, but we're just going to use email and password. Um, authorized domains. Yeah, this is this. Don't don't worry about that. Um, yeah, this is okay. This is some you know, quote is some security stuff. So. Yeah, so let's say I think that's all we need. Yeah, these templates are, uh, yep. Okay, so I think this is all we need on the console side, and then uh, there's gonna be more programming to be to be done, but that's gonna be your flip classroom. Of course, this is also part of your flip classroom, but you know, watch this video and you can, you can get a head start on all this um, authentication jazz. Okay, thank you.